Hey fellow world winners, it's Angry Turtle and here I go with first PTS update for 2021. PTS was just opened and I was able to jump in and check out what's new and what's coming with a patch that's supposed to hit at the end of this month. But before we start that, I would like to welcome my latest Patreons, people that decided to support my channel on Patreon during the last month. I'm doing those updates monthly now, it's easier for me to keep track <laughs> who was already welcome and who was not. Therefore, I would like to welcome Mole on the Hill, Bloodshot Belle, Bradley Anderson and Jared Yorio. Welcome into Tartus Army, guys. I truly appreciate your support. Thanks to all of you supporting my channel, I am able to do as many videos as I'm doing, as I do not need to do any overtimes in my day job. What's, what's amazing, I have more time for you and for myself in Followed. Thank you a lot. And thank you as well for all of you supporting me on YouTube through the Super Chat or membership as well. Thank you a lot. And now let's jump into the video. What's new? And I'm here in Vault 79. I was hoping there will be something new with Rex. There's nothing. Then <laughs> there is no new gold bullion plan at Rex place. And what you probably can already see that's new, new mask with a Fasnacht being tested now. Like Fasnacht is tested again and new masks are dropping uh, on PTS. Although we do not have a date when the Fasnacht will happen this year. Then. Uh, we don't know that yet. But now, what's new? A uh, Pip Boy, the changes, because it's a quality of life update, therefore, changes are in Pip Boy. You can see in items, you have this special tab, new, and you can see whatever you pick up. Unfortunately, it's really very fast clutter. I don't know if they will change it, but as you can see, every single piece of junk I pick up. It's going into the new tab, what will fill it up really quickly. And if I'm not mistaken, there is a limit of 50 items and then new items will replace old ones. Then, yeah, I'm not sure if this junk supposed to be here. It's uh, cluttered this tab really fast for not much of a reason, but it's, it's in here. It's a new tab, whatever you pick up and with a timer when you did pick it up, how long time ago. Uh, next. Weapons remains the same, but what we have new, if I look at the grenade, like in here, 27, look on the right side, there is weight, 005, I have a perk reducing this weight, and uh, additional weight info, stack weight, like in this case one, then you can see how much bunch of items weighed together. Unfortunately, if there is small quantity, and those are very light, it just says that it's less than one pound. It's not very accurate in this case. I don't know why, but it only says about the weight if it's more than one pound. Unfortunately, what didn't change, as you see, I sorted it now based on the weight and it still takes into consideration weight of individual items. As you can see in here, the biggest stack is still not on top. And yeah, I don't know why this is the heaviest stack, but lighter one is on top. It's just based on individual item weight, not on the weight of the stack. And there is no new sorting option. You can see the sorting in here. Those are the same sorting options as always were in here, not affected. I was really hoping that i would be able to sort by the weight of the stack, what's useful in case of ammo, junk and stuff like that. But no, it's still only individual items. Uh, then we have armor tab that is separated from apparel tab. And it is cool, but in the same time, I think, uh, at least in my opinion, it's a bug that the backpack without armor is under apparel, but my backpack with armor is under armor tab, which means if I want to swap a backpack, I need to swap tabs when I was renaming my backpacks to be next to each other because I can quickly swap them. And I not really a big fan of having my backpacks in two different tabs. I hope it's a bug and it will be sorted out. Uh, I would prefer to keep my backpack under armor as it's not apparel item for me. It's utility 
item that serves the same purpose as armor serves basically then i would prefer all my backpacks in here but i like the fact that we have separate tab for apparel it will be easier to sort out inventory especially on the mule when you have like a lot of apparel and a lot of armor you can have it in different tabs next my favorite there is a tab for food and drink which means i have food and drink in here and yes i do have a lot of food and drink i always have a lot of this stuff on me at least now i know it's only food and drink and if i want to find my camps or stims i have a separate tab therefore i can faster find what i need and I do like that. And here in this tab, I would really love to have sorting by the weight of the stack. Unfortunately, it's still not the case. Let me show you. I sort by weight. I miss it. Sort by weight and still like individual items that are the heaviest are on the top and individual lightest are on the bottom, regardless of size of the stack. Like obviously 87 steam packs is heavier than egghead serum, but yeah, it doesn't take into consideration how much the stack weighs. And of course, the same situation with the ammo. I would like to have additional sorting option. Like the old one can stay. I, I'm not against sorting by based on individual weight, but add a new one, like a stack weight, something like that. And that will be awesome. Now, next amazing change. If I go over this vendor, look at that, finally. I can see how many two star, one star, three star armor or weapons is for sale. And this tab will only show items that are there for sale. Like uh, in current version, it will just show zero or gray out something that people do not have. Uh, here, it's just showing what someone is actually selling. Uh, and I really like it. And even, and there is no separate tab like for apparel, but. I bet if someone have armor that have no stars, then almost 100% apparel, then uh, it's good. It's good. This sorting is really good. It helps so much if you want to actually buy something. Uh, I wish only one more thing, but I don't know if it's possible. Under plan, if, we'll be, if we could see if there is a plan, I do not know. I would love to be able to see that, but I'm not sure if game engine is capable of displaying this information, but it will be amazing. Like if I will see anywhere on the map, a vendor with plan that I do not know, I will fast travel there instantly. Where if I see just a random amount of plans, I'm pretty sure I know them all and I'm not interested. Next change, the stars box. That's the one everyone is really waiting for the most. I open it and I can store 1200, what means my stash box was about full and now I suddenly have 400 pounds of extra space. And this is amazing. This is what everyone was waiting for. That's insane improvement. That's a lot. 1200 weight in your stash box. That's a lot. When Fallout came out for the first time, it was 400 pounds in total there was not even a scrap box back then nothing there was just 400 pounds for everything now we'll have 1200 that's three times more and the last change that was officially announced after that we go to what was not announced when you build something including your tent and when you can place it you see it's blue the outline is blue instead of green it was change to be more friendly for colorblind people. Then it is changed. Okay, let's keep it here. And if you're curious why I'm running with this Gatling Plasma, uh, that's because I was testing it. That's a legacy that I'm rarely using and almost exclusively on PTS. And no, it's not changed. <laughs> if you were worried about it, uh, it's not changed. That, that's the weapon. It still kills everything insanely fast seems absolutely unchanged for good or bad because there are two camps really some people really want to have all legacy removed or fixed and other camp is i want to keep my legacy and i will not give them away regardless which camp you are in it's just not changed at this moment that's just an info next technical data i 
noticed some changes. The quest seems to be fixed, although I'm not sure if it's working as intended. I mean, it's working too well. I just took one technical data. You can see forbidden knowledge was triggered. I can go in there. Okay, we show that it's working. I insert the schematics and forbidden knowledge is completed. Uh, but now why I don't think it's working as intended, if I go back to my stash box, I pick up another technical data, one, the forbidden knowledge is instantly triggered again. I can do runs as many times as I have technical data in my stash box. And in the same time, what change about technical data it's no longer tradable. What's meant? Technical data cannot be dropped. If I try to drop it, this will be this message that it will be destroyed. And if I try to put it into any word container, I cannot. I cannot sell it. I cannot do anything with that. I can only destroy it or use it to finish the quest or put it into my stash box. And I, what I'm not sure about is if technical data should trigger the quest every time I pull it out from the stash box, because some people have insane amount of technical data. And yeah, I'm not sure about that. Oh, and what you should know, if I will take more, let me show you, I will take, let's say four. I have four now. If I will have four on me and I go to do this quest, I'm coming here with four technical data. You can see, oh, a five actually. You can see top left corner, technical data five was removed and I'm getting a reward for the quest, but this reward is the same as if I will put just one technical data. Therefore, yeah, keep it all in your stash box if this will not be changed. Maybe it will be changed, maybe it's intended. I have no clue. There was no information on the PTS forum about technical data and how it's supposed to work. We don't know how it's supposed to work. And about Fastnacht, as you can see, it's being tested at this moment. We can go there and test, but currently the old bugs are still in there. Then I don't know exactly what we are testing about Fastnacht. If those bugs will be fixed, if the griefing will be stopped or not, uh, we'll figure out. I, I mean, we have time, then we'll see. At this moment, I only know that we have Fastnacht Day back up. There are new rewards, new masks, and it's being tested. Although bugs not fixed yet. And at this moment, that will be everything for this update from public test server. Of course, I will keep testing. And when I will know more or when I will find more changes, I will keep you up to date. Don't worry about that. And now as always, thank you a lot for watching and see you all in the next one.